Hello viewer, welcome to this session on Tableau. And today I want to show you how to create and add an information button to Tableau. Uh, basically, an information button provides details on how to interact with your dashboard and any other detail that you may need to inform uh, the user about the dashboard or the data. And a very good example is a dashboard embedded on a website. Uh, dashboard on social media starts in Africa and if you look at the left side of the dashboard there's an information icon which provides details on how to interact with the dashboard and the kind of data that was used to create this dashboard therefore in this short video I'm going to show you two ways to create an information icon in Tableau the first way to do that I will first of all need to have a placeholder basically to hold the kind of shape I need to use and to do that I'm going to double click on the rows and add a zero and at a max card I'm going to choose shapes and choose a field shape the next thing I need to do is uh, to create a calculated field uh, containing a letter high which I'm going to label uh, to use it uh, in labeling this uh, shape and to create my calculated field I need uh, all I need to do is right click anywhere on the dimension field or measure field and create a calculated field I'm going to name it info icon and the content of this calculated field will be letter I small letter I let me expand it for you to see it I'm going to trunk this calculated field to level and I'm going to align it to middle center so it can appear at exactly the middle of my shape. The next thing I need to do is resize my view and make letter I more visible. Now I can remove the unnecessary marks. I can also hide the lines, go to format lines and remove the zero line and also the, uh, the axis. And now I'm good to go. Now what I need to do is to add the details I need the user to see when they hover on the, my height, on the icon. And to do that I'll go to tooltip and provide the details there. And for this case, I'm going to write, uh, click on the view, click on the view to filter. That's the details I need the user to see. And you can add whichever information you have, uh, uh, you want to communicate to user here. And I say, okay. And you're going to see anytime I hover on that info icon, it's going to provide the details I need the user to see. And that is one way to do that and the second way to create an info icon I will go to uh, to one of the uh, icon providers online and download uh, an info icon for this case I'm going to plot icon and I'm going to download the info icon for this case I want to take uh, uh, to download this icon and I'm going to save uh, uh, PNG to free download and uh, here it is so let me go to the folder where it has been downloaded to I'm going to copy it to the Tableau uh, repository and to do that I'll go to doc documents Tableau repository is here and while I'm, tab I'm at Tableau repository I'm going to copy it under shapes so I'm going to open the folder on shapes. Basically this folder is going to contain all shapes available in Tableau. And I'm going to create a new uh, folder here. I name it info icon. Uh, the assumption here is I'm going to add all different uh, icons um, which are supposed to, uh, to provide or rather to communicate uh, more info to the user. And then I'll go now to Tableau and repeat the same procedure. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 
uh, a placeholder, zero, and choose shapes and a max card. And then uh, when you open on shapes, you're going to see a button written more shapes. So I'm going to click on that button. And here we can be able to see all shapes available in Tableau. And you can see my shape is here, is a name for icon. And in case your shape is not appearing, all you need to do is you reload the shapes. And once you reload, you can see your shapes is appearing. And you can choose your shape, apply it, and there you have the shape. And therefore, now what is remaining is simply adding the unnecessary information, uh, removing the lines, that is the zero line, and the axis. And now we're good to go. So let me have the info I need the user to see. So on the tooltip, I'm going to write, uh, click on the view, click on the view, to filter. And okay, so this is the second way to add an info icon. Now what is remaining is how do I bring this info icon to my dashboard? And to do that, let me go to this dummy dashboard available here. And I need to bring my info icon here. And basically I'm going to place it where uh, the user will be, uh, will easily be able to notice it. And for my case, the assumption is my most of my users uh, normally read the dashboard from left to right. So I'm going to have my info icon at the top, top left. And to do that, I'm going to choose floating. Uh, to choose, it might be tile for your case, you can switch it to floating. So I'm going to choose the floating mode. And I'm going to choose one of the icon because I don't, need, I don't need to show the two, just one of the icon. And for this case icon two, I'm going to drag it to my view. I'm going to hide the title and I can reshape it, resize it and drag it to where I need it to, to appear. And for this case is at the top left corner of the my dashboard. And there it is. So uh, if I can uh, expand my view, basically when my user uh, comes across my dashboard, uh, from the info icon, he or she can get details about to interact with the dashboard. For this case, uh, the details here is click on the view uh, to filter. So, uh, in this case, the user here uh, can quickly understand exactly what they need to do. That by clicking on the view, they can interact with, uh, with the dashboard. And that way the info icon serves its purpose. I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was, please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to meet you next time.